welcome back to Sweden once again. Thank you. This is your third time around in, in Sweden. Yes. Tell us what brings you to tell you this time. Well, uh, Heroes opportunity for point guard and um, on a good team that could compete for the title this year. So that was interesting to me. Also, I knew Jens, you know, so head coach here. Who was your coach last time in, in Mark? Uh, yes, 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 yes. So Jens made contact with you a couple of weeks ago? Well, uh, yeah, my agent first off and then, yeah, talked to Jens mm -hmm. also. Did you ever hesitate to come back? Uh, well, no, not not really, not really. Um, it sounded interesting from the beginning, and I hadn't been with this a team uh, for the first part of the season, so I was looking forward to playing. Despite the cold and all the snow. Despite the cold and all the snow. Oh. <laughs> um, you arrived only yesterday, didn't you? Uh, two days ago. Two days ago. First. And you will soon start your only second practice with the team. Mm -hmm. It's of course uh, difficult for you to talk about the team at this moment, but what's your first impression of your new team? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know them too well right off, but you know, I'm excited to be here. Uh, got some good post players and um, wing players, so uh, glad to take the point guard role if that's what they need me to do. So. Looking forward to doing that. Does the team look young to you? Uh, yeah, they're young. I think I'm the oldest one on the team by like five years. <laughs> so um, it's okay. I mean, and you will bring in some experience into the team, I guess. Yeah. Uh, do you have any particular memories from your previous seasons in Sweden? What's your What's your best memory? Uh, best memory. I don't know if it's a girl thing, but uh, you know, I just remember the, the times with my teammates. Lindsey Hicks was here, uh, Agnes Ag Nordstrom. Yes. Uh, you know, we had a really good time playing together. Emma Nielsen yes. was there also, and just all the girls. You know, it was a it was a fun team to be on, and so I think those moments outweigh what we did on the court. You know. So. Uh, Jan Stilman said that uh, you look good at the first. You looked good at the first practice. Um, have you had any chance to practice or play this autumn? Uh, yes, I mean, I, in America, you know, as I was saying before, America basketball is like one of the biggest sports over there. So any given day, you can go to a gym and you know play all day, play full court games, and so I've been doing that, playing with guys, a lot of guys, especially this summer, guys that have played in college, guys that play overseas. Um, so, you know, for me, they're stronger, bigger, so it helps me to get better and uh, gives me an opportunity to work on my game, uh, even though I'm not with the team. So uh, it's something I enjoy doing, so I, I do it even if I'm not with the team. So you're ready for the first game on Saturday? I'm ready physically, but um, as far as like the game plan, you know, we're going over that now, learning the plays, the systems. So. Is, is the paperwork ready? Do you know so that everything um, is? I'm not exactly sure. I hope so, but um, we got a jump start on it as soon as I, I knew I was coming here. So hopefully everything gets in before first game. Jumping into a, a team in the middle of uh, middle of a season must be difficult in, in many ways, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? I mean, yeah, it could be. Uh, it's like coming at the beginning of the year, though, too. It takes some time to, to mesh. Uh, when it's in the middle of the season, you don't have as much time as you do with the preseason. But, um, I mean, it's not beyond doing, you know. You just have to lock down and get the job done, learn things fast, you know, come together fast to learn my uh, teammates, personnel, everything in a shorter period, period of time, but you know, something I can do, something I'm dedicated to doing. Is it tough to, to learn different set plays and type of defense and things well, like that? I've been doing it for so long, you know, so certain things that I might see here, I'm sure I've seen it before. If not, you know, I'll pick it up. It's basketball. It's what I've been doing for a while, so uh, I 
I guess it kind of comes easier after a while. What's your impression of the Swedish Women's League after playing in, in the States, in college and uh, in two different countries in, in Europe? What, what's your opinion of the general level here? Well, I, I think it's a good level. I played in um, situations where the level wasn't as good as it's, it's here in Sweden, but you know, also levels that have been pretty competitive too. So uh, I think it's a good league. Um, if you, I mean, it's it's, it's a good league. It's a good league. Uh, Elisabeth Engnell said to me last spring that uh, the biggest difference between Sweden and the French league was that those teams always has one or two good post players, mm -hmm. and that's not the case in, in Sweden. Yeah, that's that's one difference I think. The the post play, it's especially in France, is it's really strong. Sometimes you know I'll go down and rebound and mm -hmm. and you know do some of those things, but in France, not so much. Those girls were you know I could get hurt down there, so I didn't you know I knew my position. I was a point guard. Um, some of that, especially we had a good girl on our team, and she's about six three, six four, big, strong girl. So, you know, there's not much I can do <laughs> rebounding. You know, I can go by her, but you know, she's going to dominate the post, and um, that's. I was impressed with the post play in France, in particular. <laughs>